Good morning, folks. Today we'll be looking at two excellent studies on solar impact to the atmosphere, one with big implications for the ongoing magnetic pole shift. We'll also check out the tropical system and geomagnetic conditions, and we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Much quieter day up there, minor flares only, no more eruptions aimed at Earth. There are still a few sunspots worth watching for more flares, and of course we've been watching the solar wind as a sequence of three CMEs were aimed at Earth before. The first two struck before yesterday's show, and the last one struck last night. Each was fairly weak, but their combined effects set a fairly solid impact to the Earth's magnetic field. Smooth, calm curves in the magnetometer changed to bigger deviations the last day. This morning, we're in level 3 geomagnetic storm conditions with KP7. That is enough to drive some solid aurora and have weather impacts, but not large enough to be a technological concern. Speaking of concerns, have some good news on that tropical system approaching the Caribbean. It initially looked like it was going to take a similar track to Debbie, but this one, likely to be named Ernesto, has all model forecasts showing it bending northward early. Still expected to impact the eastern Caribbean, but afterwards will hopefully swing north into the Atlantic and not impact the United States. First up in the articles is this one, showing the sun's long-term control on the tropical hydroclimate. We've seen these studies before, but never one using paleoclimate lake levels to show how water was higher during solar minimum periods, indicating the greater rainfall. The bigger solar forcing study confirms and gets detailed about a solar proton destruction of the ozone. They found that these depletion levels can reach extremely high marks, and we know from previous studies that effect is getting amplified as Earth's losing its magnetic field strength. It's the ongoing geomagnetic excursion. It's the key reason why ozone loss is a major risk factor in the years ahead as the field weakens further. Eyes on these kinds of studies as they are very telling. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.